my name is Tom Bobele. Uh, Robo Smart, they are calling for Wazobi FM. Okay, sir. Now, you been in Uber, we come to my office yesterday. Yes, I'm good. You carry one matter come on top of our backyard. And your letter day with us here, but it will make sense say we hear up from your yam chopping mouth. Okay, sir. To tell us what you saw from beginning to where the matter day now. I was with my husband in um, Marwa Road. I was with him in um, Satellite Town. So we later pack out from that Satellite Town to Marwa Road. But that house that we pack out from is our own house. The number of came to attack us because, because of um, my husband having issues yeah, with somebody, quarreled with somebody. So they, they attack us, I'm not attack us then. And that house, that our house, we just do this newly. So, but during that period, my husband said we should have to pack out to Marwa Road. I told him, no, that this house, we just build it. Why are we packing out from our house? He's having BP. He said, uh, because of this is BP, he don't want to experience it again. I said, okay, and now we we pack out. So when we get to that Marwa Road, they started disturbing him. People, that, There's a man that he traveled to China with, that uh, he went to China with to buy some goods. So along the line, when, after when they came back from China, the goods entered the mortgage. For months, my husband did not clear, clear the goods. The man did not clear the goods. So the period of that, that, that period, my husband looked for money and cleared the goods and sold some of the goods of the man. My, my husband borrowed money and cleared the goods. Uh -huh. So the man said, and came and checked the container and said that his, his goods is not complete, mm. that he have to pay him back. Mm. So my husband said he did not have money to pay him back. So the man had to calculate everything and told my husband to pay him about 2.5 million then. Then my husband said he don't have the money. So the man asked my husband to give him some of, uh, because my husband has some shorts at uh, Alaba and uh, Suru. So my, the man said my husband should hand over his shop to him. So I used and replaced the money that he's owing him. So my husband now said I'll follow them to Alaba International, I mean Alaba Suru. So when they get there, that was when they arrested my husband. And they took him to Ajeromi Police Station. From there, they took him to ESCC. So that period, he called me. He said I should that, that they have arrested him. They took him to ESCC. I don't know ESCC. So some they, they directed me. I went to see him. During that period, somebody came to Shoti, my husband. Some of his, they gave him. Um, they, they, they they released him after they 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 arrested him. They somebody came to Shoti him. One of his his old old student friends came to Shoti him. So that period, my husband came out. Then when he came out, mm. he he jumped bail. The day they told them to come, he jumped the bail. So the man that um, shot him came and started disturbing me. And because my husband ran out from the house and went to his sister's place at the and see. Mm. And told me anytime they come, I should go with them. And if I'm going, I should carry my baby. My baby, she's just two years old then. My okay. last one. So I should follow them. So the day they came, they came at night. They came with some policemen with guns. So they came to my place, they knock, I opened the door, they said that my husband, where is my husband? I told them that he's not around. They said that he jumped fence. I said he did not jump any fence, that he's not around. They said that and if I did not provide him, I should I should go with them that night. The man that shot him, my husband, is from my own village. So he was speaking my language, said if I did not follow them, that if I did not provide my husband, they would arrest me myself. So the following day when they came, because that, that landlady did not allow them to take me, because it's at night. So the following month, that was when they came. And I'll go with them. But I, I was naked. So the Indian people stand in my room. They said I should dress up sharp, sharp, and follow them. They were with gone, and they stood in my room door. So I just put on my top and my skirt, and I followed them. So when I get there, they now said I should... I, I stood in one of their, their counters there. So they said I should provide my husband if I had not provide Wait, my Wait, madam, uh, calm, 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 calm down. They burst into your room that particular day. Yeah, they came into the house. How did they, they come into the house? Now you opened door for them naked, and yeah, then bust. No, my son, my son, my son went to open door. They came in because I was I was preparing my daughter for school and my children for school. So I sent my son, my first son to go and open the door. When he came, I was in the room. Mm -hmm. They asked him, where is your mother? They said that my mother is in the room. They came directly to the room and saw me. I was trying to dress my, okay. my children for school. Go ahead, they madam. Said, mm. They said I should dress up. That they are picking me. They are picking me. I say okay. That they said, "Why is my husband?" I say, "My husband is not around." They say, "Okay, my husband is not around." They will pick me. So I, they were standing at the door. I have to 
I was tying my wrapper. I had to wear skirts in the present and put on top. I didn't even wear a bra, but I went with them. So they said, they took me to EFCC. I said, oh, cool table at EFCC there. So I, I went there. They now said, if I don't... Okay, so, but I hold on. Oh, wait, just wait. I almost could go to where the team is. So... So what it going happen after all of these things? They, they arrest your husband. Yeah, they put him in, in prison. So he stayed three years in the prison. Okay, good. What year when your husband go this prison? Yeah, he goes to prison in 2011. 2011? Yes. So when he go to prison, all of these things happen to you, the whole sofa, you know, with how many children I get? I have five children. Okay. I have uh, my, own, my own children, they are four. Then him himself have a boy from another... Okay, woman. okay. So that five children I get. Okay. So 2011, Ingo prison. So that that same 2011, now you get this affair where you get with this man. Yes. No, not that 2011, no. I, I went, I was at um, uh, Satellite Town for about one, uh, one year after, before I went to Kuruzi. Okay. So during that period that I'm in Kuruda, I stayed up to like one, uh, let me say like eight months before I went out with this guy. So this guy, I'm a married man, I've been a single guy? No, he's a single guy. Okay. So, so two of them come begin the collab. How long will this collab last? It's, it's up to, it's up to five, uh, six months. Six months. Okay, so start from there. From when two of them meet, when I begin the hate came together. Start from there. So we, we find each other that period. But each time I used to go to prison to meet my husband, to see him. If I have some money, maybe I, I get money from him. Then if it, I buy, I will buy some food stuff and go and give him in the prison there. I go, he will cry that he don't have money. But most times I go, he, he will tell me that Somebody dashing money that we share it together. You give me, but the money don't need to reach me. By the time I pay transport and go back, the money don't need to reach me. You understand? So uh, when I go back, I will be managing with my children. Mm -hmm. So then, that during that period also, he called me that they gave him bail conditions. That that bail condition, you don't know how to even meet up. But there are some church people that used to come and tend to them in that prison. So they gave him some money. That they want to give him some money that. Where will he pay the money to? I don't know. I said, okay, I don't have an account. I don't have an account. So he asked me, where will I put the money? And I told him that the church that we are, we, we are attending, that place, that can I call the pastor so that we can pay the money to the church account? So he said, okay, since I don't have an account, so let us pay the money into that account. It's 300000 So I will not pay the money to that church account. I don't know that they will send the money, but the pastor has tell me that, you want to use the money for program. Uh -uh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So the money eh? Uh, where another people for prison give your husband to take help Balaam? Yes. Your the pastor of your own church. Yes. They say want use money to do church program. Yes. To win souls. Oh you boy. So they use the money to do the church program. They use the money, but before they use the money, I called my husband that that they said they want to use the money for church program because the bail condition they've not started process as in they, not, they have not started the the, the process the, the process so mm. the money is still in the account so but that period the person asked me if can he use the money I said this money is for my husband to meet up the pay bail condition uh. so I have to call my husband and ask him should I give them the money after the program they will pay back the money uh. he, he accepted that okay if I know that they will pay the money back. I should give them. Okay, but so did I, they pay back the money? They didn't. They, they, they are cutting the money. They didn't pay the money in bulk. They are just cutting into pieces, pieces. So hi. They call it pay and piece, miss. Hi. Much, 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 like that. Most time, most time they will go. They will give us ten thousand. Hi. Can you can you imagine? Most time will go. They will even give us five thousand. Hi. I'm not, I'm not happy with the pastor. I used to be. I started quarreling with them with the accountants. They used to give us the money. Sometimes they will go. They will give us. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. Uh, recording it even up to date i don't even know how they scatter the money is it oh they don't so, pay that they don't pay that the money finish up to now they are paid up they are paid the money but i okay. like the money is remaining about twenty thousand. but they have at last they have paid the money they gave my husband cash 
to take take the money. But when my, when my husband came out, <sighs> I, I took him to the to the church and took him to the pastor. Mm. He met the, the pastor. They talked together. He was not happy with the pastor. But he wait, wait, no, wait. Uh, I want to establish something. Meaning that not with that same money they take uh, bring your husband out. Finally. No. No, it's not the money. There's another church member that helped him out. There's a the a, 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 a amazing grace Pentecostal church. Okay, now they can finally come help him. Yes. So, so this other church now carry the money, do church program to win souls and praise God. Mm. Hallelujah. That's why, right. why another soul is uh, languishing is, is, is in, suffering in, in the prison. In prison. Some of these pastors, if we can't call the church name now, now they can't say to boy, you're very wicked. How can a church behave like this and a pastor saying they serve God? What, what sort of this is that? But anyway, moving on. Now, when you and this boy they mapok they did for he said that did for six months. Yeah. Yeah. So when they go prison to go see your husband, you tell your husband say see what he did do. I didn't tell him in the prison, but when he came out, I told him. Okay, when he when he came out, you told him. Yes. So, so he asked me that mm. what have I done? That he's that he's going to forgive me because he himself before he went to prison that he was dating uh, somebody, a lady. So I have to open up to him. So, so how did oh. he catch you? How did he catch you? I don't understand. No, he was telling me that I should open up, that if there's anything I've done, I should open up. Because okay. I said, he called me in the prison, that he used another person number to call me. I was, he was just telling me uh, that he wants to friend me. I was, and But there's nothing like that. No, there's nothing like that. He said he called me, he used another person number to call me. I was telling the person, hey, I want to friend you, I want to go out with you. you give me money. And just... <laughs> when I was saying all those, I said, I, I didn't pick anybody's call like that. But you sure? he was saying it. Mm. He said he, he, he had a dream that I was going out with somebody. I said, I have to open up with you because my conscience is judging me. I have to Sorry. let you know what I've, gone, what I've done. What you have so done? I have to tell mm. him that I've friend somebody doing mm. that he's in prison. He said, okay, he's going to forgive me because he himself have also... He has also done too. So, huh. after everything, we, we came out from... We came because we were in his sister's place at Ikeja. So, when we came back in our own house in Satellite Town, yeah. he said that he's, not, that he's not happy with what I've done, that we have to go and go to church and confess. So, that same woman that helped him out of prison went to his place and his church and confessed to them. So, they conducted the um, deliverance. Deliverance, yeah. Support. They prayed for us. They said we should forget that God has forgiven us. So mm. we came back to our house in Satellite Town. Mm. So still, my husband said that he's not, he's not satisfied that we are still going to go to the church we are worshipping. That he's going to report the issue to them. We oh, to go, and, to go and tell the church what I said. The, many pastors there were say you've been the hacking when you've been mm. in prison. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, sir. So the, your husband said no, they're okay with what this other church don't do. I need to go to another church again. Yes, yes. That time we came to Satellite and we started worshipping in um, Redeem Church. Mm. He said he's going to go and report me again. Then We went there. He reported me. Then they gave us another prayer to pray that we should just do fasting and do the prayer that we should go to altar and kneel down and, and pray. Mm. That God, that we should forget that God has forgiven us. That our husband should not say it again. We should forget that. So we prayed. We did the prayer. So after that, that again, there's a place we are, we are attending in a ministry that we used to attend. We went, there's a one of my friends, a lady friend in the church there, she said that there's a ministry she used to attend that we should go there and be praying so that mm. things would be moving for fine for us. So mm. when we went to that place again, my mother reported the issue again to the, the owner of the ministry. Uh, 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 uh. So they now pray for us also. Uh, uh. But the owner of the prison, I mean, owner of the church, the ministry, the ministry said mm. that we should go to the village and do um, traditional cleansing. Mm. Okay. So we should go then. We went. I also have to call the auntie. Look at what I've done. The auntie was not happy. She said we should come to the village that we will do traditional cleansing. So we went to the village. After everything they did, they advised me that I should not go out with anybody again. I said, okay. So I confessed to them. They did the traditional cleansing. And I came back to the Lagos, me and my husband. And after then, he's still accusing me that I used to go. If I dress and I'm going for my business, he will say that I'm going for to go and meet him. I go to do meet a man. Yes. Okay, so make I ask you, Chere, since after all those cleansing, talk the truth, you still go meet man? No, 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 no. Where the problem then now? What is the cocoa of the problem? The problem is that after we have gone to the village and explained everything, they, they 
they did the extrajudicial cleansing for us, and we came back. My mom was still accusing me that I used to go out with men. I told him there's nothing like that. Mm. So then that period, he stopped giving me money the way he used to give me money. Sometimes he give me money to cook. He give me three thousand to cook really? or three five. So, but I told him that this money is not enough. So I should manage it. But after that period, he don't used to give me money again. Once I if you want to ask him for money, we said I should take my own money. But I'm not selling. I'm not doing any business. The business I'm selling is that handbag that I'm selling, and because the money is not my own money, so he stopped giving me money. Sometimes I'll use my own money and manage and cook. So after that, after then, there's a day she, he, mommy, my, there's a day my husband gave me money. In the morning, he gave me one thousand naira to prepare breakfast. So I now told him that this money, one thousand, is not be enough for me and you and these children. He said I should share the money. I should share the money if I can. I told him let me buy bread. He said no, but uh, I, because he have he had he had, he had a stroke issue, so he said he will not eat bread. I said okay, what will I do with the money? But I was going to a meet there's a networking I'm into, and I said I want to go to the the networking um, seminar. That what will I do with the money? That money, uh, he said I should use it. I should share the money. I should share the money and give. So, it. Mother, wait. Uh, just One wait. But I wait because of because Exam of time, and, time and the. Wait till the, the, he said one of the problems that say your husband still a suspect say that he came outside. Yes, sir. Is that like, the only problem we get now with your husband? Uh, not only that, because he, he said that he wants to kill me the way they kill us in the gospel uh, thing. If I cook food, don't need to eat. If I cook food, he will say I will eat with him. Even if I eat with him, he eat with him in the same food, he's still suspecting me that I used to go out with men and that, that because of that, he don't want to eat my food again. Uh. And this time, he don't need to give us money to eat. The, that day that I decided to share the money, I gave him that money. He said I should give him 250 I gave him the 250 As I came back, two people came to call me and said that my husband said I, I, I shared the money and I threw the money into his body. So, that he's going to kill me the way they kill Osuna, the God's fair singer. Uh-huh. I'm going to kill me, or he will report me to court. This that guy is not going to marry me again. So, and two people told me, one of my sisters told me, and another woman, uh, that is my neighbor, came to tell me the same thing that same day. So, I now believe that it's true that my husband said. So, I now told them that let me go and report him first in uh, human okay. rights. So, I went to report him because he used to suspect me. That is why I, 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 I was afraid. He said he will kill me the way they kill us, actually, the gospel thing. I said, I now have to go to human rights at uh, Ojo Barras. Mm. So, I went there. They, they call us, they give us the, the call us, and we explain everything. My husband brought out the certificate that used to marry me in the table of that human rights people that said, don't go to marry me again. Started crying, started crying, I don't want to marry me again. So, they told him that he did do court wedding or he did do church wedding. He said no. Those people are telling that, the woman are telling that, he should take the uh, um, certificate, you don't want to marry me again, he should take it to my, to the village where he married me, this traditional marriage. Oh. And he's not going to accept the letter. So they now come him. He explained that I don't need to go to the same church with him because I used to go to the same church with him. But before I married him, I was a Catholic, a Catholic. So, member. madam, hold on, hold on, hold on. So the, the husband said, "Don't marry you again." Yes. Huh? Okay. So what do you want make would do for you now? He don't need to pay my children's school fees. He used to tell people outside that I'm a shower. I used to go out to follow man, even in our village and in Lagos. So yeah. because of that, I don't allow him to sleep with me. Up but door. when the town people put him mass into it, they said to us, mm. they said I should forget, I should allow him to sleep with me. He will sleep. He used to sleep with me. Mm. You understand? So after they said to us in my father's place, I went with him. He started sleeping with me. He now said that he, he doesn't want to marry me again. That he wants to marry another woman. So, but we came back to, to the to the Lagos here. He started carrying women and coming to the house. Mm. He stopped giving me and my children food. He stopped giving them food. He almost used to pay their school fees. And almost more than one year now. I'm not giving us money to feed. He stopped used to pay children school fees. He said one. He did they give one our money to chop. Yes. He said one man and another had wife. Yes. So, what did you want me to tell him now to call your husband? And that if what do you want? What I want is that let you ask him if he if, if he wants to marry me, and if he, he, let him take care of his children. But if you don't want to marry me again, no problem. But let him take care of his children. They are, he's not paying that food. He's not giving them food. He go outside and buy food. He's living in another place. In, I mean, in the same company, in, in a boy's quarter. He's living in that place. They are buy gas and be eating his own food. He don't need to give me my children. In the and same compound. In the same compound. He's living in a, in, in that is a boy's quarter. He rented it as before. Uh. And that my stepson was living in that place when those, our tenants pack out. 
Now your fat is all his own belongings to that place and he's eating, he buys that and enter, put there and be eaten. Most times we call some women and he's sleeping with them. Uh, so I don't know, there's no problem. I'm just trying to survive with my children, but <laughs> my children used to cry to me that, 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 they, that they want to eat. So most I don't need to see money and give them food. But he has sold the building now, uh, 13 million, and bought a Siana car. And he has traveled to the village now. So what I want people to do is that, let him tell you if he wants to really marry me. Let him give me money. Wait, uh, be, me. wait, 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 calm down. Uh, before we give you call your husband, uh, to, uh, this matter, on our, on our families, uh, your own and, you know, your husband's family, they don't sit over and I don't even report them. Yes, we have reported to our family. His own family and my own family have, have put smart into the issue and said to us. Uh, but Cass, most of us don't listen to this whole story from beginning till now. What do you want to make of all of this? Because <laughs> this <laughs> man also had came to <laughs> and confessed to the wife. Mm. The wife also had came mm. and confessed to the husband. Mm. How come the husband find it difficult to forgive and forget? Chuk Pout. Wazupia. 95.1. Wazupia. <laughs>